Hey everyone, Jackie here. Uh, so this last weekend, a few of you know that I went to Minneapolis and I went to a metal show there to see a few bands and I also got to go to the Mall of America. Um, so I, I just wanted to do basically a little haul um, of my trip to the mall. And also I wanted to do just a little mini haul of what I got at Walmart. Yes, I freaking shop at Walmart. Um, you can find you find stuff there. I don't. Does anybody have anything against Walmart? I don't freaking know. I don't like going there. People of Walmart maybe, but some people probably think I look weird. So whatever. So I went to Walmart and I just got a few things. Um, so basically a few drugstore things that I'm going to show you guys. Um, I picked up these 3D Crest white strips. Uh, some of you know I had braces and everything and I actually have fake teeth up here. Everyone thinks that my teeth are perfect and they're so white and everything and I actually used to have a gap in my teeth and I got made fun of all the time and I don't know why I'm telling you this story but I finally have good teeth and I just wanted to buy these Crest, Crest, these Crest white, they are Crest, <laughs> okay. <laughs> these white strips um basically the top of my teeth they're made of porcelain so they stay white and everything but I still want to use the white strips and also because I don't have them on the bottom so I want to use that the only thing about them is they're so expensive I did not know how much those were for like 40 well it's 40 strips but that's top and bottom so it's 20 treatments and it was like 50 or 60 dollars when I was and I was just like okay whatever but I bought them so and then while I was there um, I've been I have tried my favorite like cleanser that I have is the Sephora the purity but I like to get my scrubs like the purity is good than sudsy but I like a little something that scrubs or anything if I get breakouts I feel like the purity is just like a cleanser and I want something that's like gonna it's for breakouts and everything so I tried the Bior um, this one's the pore unclogging scrub, uh, deep cleans pores and smooth skin. I had the other one too. I think that one was more for acne. I don't have acne, but if it's for breakouts and everything, then I'm, that's pretty much why I wanted to get it. And I like, I think they work and they're like, they leave my skin feeling really clean. They're like minty, like minty feeling. And I just feel clean when I'm like that, even sh like shampoo and stuff. So I got that. And then I got the Ole Regenerist. Basically, it's um, I got the Ole Regenerist Regenerating Cream Cleanser. And I was one of my friends uh, told me to get, try this because she had tried it. And basically, it's kind of like um, the microdermabrasion. And basically, it's like the microdermabrasion. It has those little like crystals where like my scrub has like the balls or the beads in it and like microdermabrasion is like the little crystals and it's like a skin polishing and I have like the clinical care which is way more expensive so I wanted to try something that's uh, more drugstore because I'm going to make a video for you guys about skincare and stuff that I've tried like masks and cleansers and everything but I like don't expect you guys to I get my clinical care through my supply house so I get like 50% off where I don't expect you guys to pay like hundreds of dollars on that so I'm trying to like find stuff like this for you guys that's cheaper and still more comparable and I've tried it a few times but I'm gonna wait till my video to do a review on it and I'll let you guys know how I like it um, also that I got from there I got the regenerating eye lifting cream um, <laughs> I'm just one of those people that is like trying to avoid ever getting wrinkles. I don't really have, I don't feel like I have wrinkles, but I have noticed like, well, I feel like we're really hard on ourselves about it, but I feel like I have like the crow, crow's feet that are starting, which I don't know. I think it's been working because when I look at my eyes, I don't really have, maybe some days it's just bad because it's poof, like puffier and I don't know. I feel like it's maybe been helping, but I'll let you guys know on my review of that too. I just wanted to show you guys that. While I was also at Walmart, I had to get this, and you guys have been asking me where I... Sorry, I got a text message. <laughs> um, you guys have been asking me where I get them, but I got my NYC liquid liner. 
basically because two people had texted me, where do you get this eyeliner? It's gone everywhere I go, and I'm like, oh my god, like I ran to Walmart, and I'm like, I'm gonna buy like every single one that they have because everybody's gonna buy them and steal them now. So I went and I bought two of them, and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about because they're still here, and I had two people that went to like Walgreens and Target, and I'm like, I don't know, I get it at Walmart, so I had to stock up on that. Next, uh, I'm more my drugstore kind of makeup. I went to Ulta. Um, I like going there because I look at the professional side of, or like the more higher end type of makeup, but I like that they have the drugstore. It's like two in one, which is awesome because I really do not like going to Walmart, and if I don't have to go there and I can just avoid it, that would be awesome. Because if anybody knows me, I get so pissed off when I go there and I get road rage and I get shopping cart rage. I don't know, but I freaking hate Walmart. Ask my boyfriend, I, oh, he doesn't like dealing with me there. Um, but basically what I got there, I just got these uh, Maybelline. They're like little, oh, it's like something elixir or something. I had like a, a more purple one that I had gotten. So, and they're really pig, or they're more like pigmented. I really like the brush in them. Um, it's like this. And it's pigmented. I like how it goes on. It's really smooth. And I had a purple one, so I saw these like lighter pink shades. If you can, oh, I should probably show you guys the side that doesn't have the label. So one right here is kind of more of like a baby pink, and this one's more. It's not really. It looks really corally on camera, but it's still like a baby pink, but it does have the more coral look to it. I'm really like I'm buying all these like pinks, and I feel like and corals and everything. I don't even really look good in coral. But I feel like because spring is coming that I want to wear it, and I don't know. I'll probably still wear it, but I don't look good in, more, like, oranges. I think I wore it yesterday, and I was like, mm, not very good on my skin, but whatever. And then while I was there, I also bought two more of these, but I'm just going to show you one. But it is the um, Maybelline Lipstick, the Bare All. And basically, it's their, or it's their nude collection, and I got, had one of my friends... Um, get one and I actually lost her so I bought one for her to get back to her, to give back to her but I bought like I don't know this is like the best nude lipstick I found and it's like by Maybelline I think I like it because most nude lipsticks are too dark for me and I'm really pale and I know a lot of people that are pale so I just like this it's like their lightest shade and it matches my skin like it's it's light enough and like I, I like nude like almost like lip erased out I guess um, not like a natural nude because we all know I don't like natural <laughs> and then while I was at Ulta I just had to show you guys because I know I said it in one of my old videos that it got stolen and it was out of stock forever and it's finally back in or it was back in stock I got my Naked 2 palette back and I've been using it yeah, well, I don't want to say a lot because I have a lot of palettes that I've been trying out, and but I feel like I use at least one eyeshadow in this every day, and I don't know. I like this one the most out of all the naked palettes. I don't like the one because I I just like the black in here is blackout, and I use that a lot. Where the naked one is, it's more like of a gray. They're just too light of colors for me, and. It's more of like a neutral palette where then and then the naked three is more like pinky and warm shades and I don't look good in those so I just didn't even bother. It's more like rosy colors which are I think are so pretty but they just aren't pretty on me so I'm so happy I got this and if anybody ever freaking tries to steal this again I'll probably chop your freaking fingers off. Alright so since when I was in Minneapolis then, like around here in Sioux Falls, we don't have MAC cosmetics. We don't. Well, and I went to Sephora there, and we have a Sephora here, but sometimes we're just out of stuff or we don't carry the same thing that they have, and I would have to order it online. So I just wanted to see what they had there, and we were wasting time, and I love Sephora, and so yeah. So when I went to MAC, I have my MAC Pro card, so I had to freaking go there, and um... But basically, when I w went there, I wanted to get two lipsticks, um, and I got them, uh, basically. <laughs> and one of the lipsticks that I did get was Cyber. 
I had that that was stolen in my makeup a long time ago so I got that back I have the smoked purple and but I just feel like the cyber is a little bit darker and I think it might be um, more of like a smoother finish like I know smoked purple is like a matte finish and it's a little more dry so I think that this might just be a little go on a little more smoother if I remember but I love it it's like a dark purple and I'll have to do like a lipstick review or like my top lipsticks that I have and I have a lot so there might be more than 10 but uh, another one I wanted to get just because I try or I watch a lot of reviews and tutorials and what people like and one of them that I had heard about and I hadn't got was a uh, snob by Mac so that looks like this and I tried it on and it's more it like Saint Germain is probably like my most favorite pink there because it's it's like a baby it's like a pastel pink but it's super like it's just bright on your lips and I feel like this is like a baby like Barbie pink but I feel like it's a little more subtle it doesn't really pop on your lips but I do like that because I'm I'm not always trying to I know it's hard to probably believe when I look like this but I'm not always trying to pop out at people I guess when I go to work and stuff I try sometimes I'm more natural if some of you've seen me at work I don't I always look like this I sometimes I have my days where I'm just like mm, I don't feel like doing this so it's my job and I do it all the time so yeah another lip product that I got um, was their lip pencil it's current um, I had Night Moth. I feel like Night Moth's a little more, it's like a deep purple, so I liked it for my purple lipsticks. Um, but I do like to wear, like, I like darker lipstick. I like the vampy look, so um, I have, I like the deep reds. And I feel like Current is, it's kind of almost the same as Night Moth, but I feel like it has more of a red tone to it, so I wanted to get that. Uh, it was kind of funny because when I um, had like they the girls are really helpful there and she kept asking me if I needed help and I don't know if people ask me if I need help because if I look like I'm gonna somebody that would steal something because I don't know she's just like do you need help are you finding everything okay and I'm just like yeah you asked me like five seconds ago but they seem helpful but I don't know if it's really because I just look like a freaking degenerate or creepy person but um, I had gone behind the counter to go grab that and um, sometimes they have counters it looks like you can go back there and she's like do you need help and I was like no I'm just grabbing this and I'm like am I not supposed to be back here and she said no and I'm like so freaking yeah so then maybe that's why she thought I was gonna steal stuff I don't freaking know but I just thought that was kind of funny because then I'm the type of person that says sorry like 15 million times but so also what I got from there um I don't remember what skin finish it was. It was like a newer one. It was more goldy. Um, and I tried it and not, like cause because I'm so pale. Um, she told me I should they had a lighter one. Um, it was the extra dimension extra dimension skin finish. And one of them was a deeper one and it was more goldy. And when I like swatched it on my hand, she was right. So I tried this one. And I feel like it kind of has like a, the, a rosier finish to it, but then she had it on her cheeks and I'll see if I can, if you guys can even see that. Oh, yeah, I'm Jackie's so talented at these. <laughs> and it's kind of like a ro or sorry, there's a shadow here, but, um. I have the soft and gentle and I think it's kind of like that it's for like highlight and stuff so I got my like corally colors that I'm gonna try to do on my face and we'll see how that goes but um I figured I would just use this for that uh, the soft and gentle is just more of like your like your normal highlight and this I feel like has a little bit of like rosy color but I wanted to try something new gotta gotta try different stuff you can't always use the same stuff um, also what I got there, I got a pressed pigment. I have one from MAC. It's a purple color. I did not use it today. I will also have a video of this look for you guys in the future. I filmed it today while I was getting ready, but I figured this video will be shorter, maybe. <laughs> but um, I had a purple one of this, and this one is called Blonde Streak. I like the pressed pigments just mainly because I told you guys I like my shimmery colors and... It's just, 
a good color. I like anything that I'm going to use, like, all the time. So, even though I have, like, a million of these colors, so maybe I won't use it all the time. Like I said, you got to try new stuff, okay? So, as I was checking out, um, I had to also grab the MAC Studio Fix. Basically, I don't use it as, like, a setting spray or anything. I use it on my brushes if I'm going to do something that's more of, like, a vibrant color. And um, I'll spray it on my brush before I dip it into whatever color I'm using, and it makes basically just makes your color more vibrant. Because some people like lick their brushes or they'll dip them in water. And I used to do the water thing. I've never licked my brushes. I don't really get that, but um, I would do the water um, in your eyeshadow, and I would make like you could make it darker and everything, like with my blacks and everything. So um, that's what I use this for. And I only get the small one ever in that. I don't know why. Because I still have the small one. I wanted to grab one while I was there. But I still have a, like half of the small one. So it lasts me forever. So I just got a small one. And also while I was there. Um, if any of you guys watch Shannon. Um, she Shannon XOXO or something. She's on YouTube. And she's a really good YouTuber. But she had tried Max Strobe Cream. And basically it's a primer. And it says it's a hydrant. I don't use it for hydration, even though I should because my skin is dry. But basically, um, it's like a luminizer. So when you put it, I can't even probably show you guys. You guys might be able to see it. I do use it in this video. Um, with this, I don't really like to use my, um, I have my Perfection Mattifying. But when I put that on, I feel like it's got like silicone in it. And when I put this foundation over it, it's a mousse foundation. I feel like mousse foundation already does that. It doesn't need to be, you know, like expanded anymore. It's already going to fill my pores. So I don't, and I feel like when I use it with the Perfection, it like melts off. Or like, if you've ever seen like your makeup, it just like separates. So I didn't use that, but I wanted to use some sort of uh, primer. So I really liked this. And because um, I use the Rimmel Stay Matte. I do like the dewy effect on makeup, so I feel like this kind of just illuminated a little bit. And when I put it on, I honestly, even if you, like, want to go out and not wear makeup, I, like, some people probably wouldn't want to do it, but, and some people think, like, if there's any sort of shine to your face that that's bad, and I'm like, I put it on and I think it looks nice because it's almost like it brightens your face and you just have, like, the shimmer in the right places, and I just really like it so far. Also, while I was there, I said I went to Sephora just to see what they had, and they did have stuff there that um, we don't have here. But first, I always look at Kat Von D's stuff. I love Kat Von D's eyeshadow palettes. I've had people say they don't like them. Um, so I also already had the Lady Bird palette, and I wanted to get, I think this one, it's called, this is Sinner. Sorry about this shadow. There we go. So I liked this one because it has your... Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's typical Jackie for you. Drops everything. If you guys saw me doing this freaking makeup tutorial, I'll probably edit it out. But seriously, I'll drop a million things. <laughs> so, yeah. So, basically, I liked this palette because it has your black in it. And it's a matte black. Um, but then she's got, like, a pur your deeper purples, your deeper blues. And... I see. I say it like a million freaking times, and I'm sure you guys are sick of it, but I look good in cooler tones, and especially when they're deeper like this. I used this while I was there. Um, I went to that show that night, and I used um, I used this blue color. It's like a blue. It's a blue color, but it's got like purple sparkles in it. And I did sort of like it was like a blown out eye, like or a smoky eye, like this. And um, I used that that night. You guys really liked my makeup, and so did I. I started using it, and I was just like, yep, love this. Like, I just freaking love her stuff. I don't know. Maybe I just like her, too. Lady crush. While I was there, I also wanted to try her blushes. Um, I'm like the finger dipper. That might sound really wrong and whatever. But I'm the type of person, I don't even know if you're supposed to do this. It's probably really bad sanitation, but I'm the one that will go through the whole Sephora and, like, swipe my finger in, like, every color and then wipe it off. And then I just have to, like, feel how it, like, if it's good makeup, I feel like first if you dip your finger in it, like, once it'll just come, like, 
so much you'll see how much pigment is in it if it feel if it usually you'll see how much pigment is in it um, you'll also feel how smooth it is I felt like Ulta's eyeshadows I don't really care for because I feel they're really powdery and they almost have like a rough texture and I feel like that wouldn't blend really well so if it's really like I can just feel the consistency I'm just like a fucking weirdo I don't know but I dipped my fingers in um, her blush that she had. And this is a corally one. She had one there that I looked or She had the picture, but she, the blush wasn't there that I really, really wanted to try. But I just wanted to try one of them. And this was actually really pretty when I swatched it. Swatched it with my finger. Um, but I, I am just have this obsession with coral. And maybe it's because I'm jealous because I can't freaking wear it. I don't know. And I'm going to make myself wear it. I really don't care. But I've just been getting corals and clothes and stuff. So I just wanted an eyeshadow. Or I just wanted a blush. And I really liked how it um, came off. And it's more like a, like a pastel. I don't even know if you can see that. But it's more of like a pastel. And it's just smooth. And it just feels like it's going to go on go on really good. It's like a satin finish. It's got a little bit of like shimmer to it. Not, I won't even say like sparkle or shimmer. It's just, it's not going to look cakey and powdery on your face. And then while I was there, I've always wanted to try the OCC Lip Tars and we do not have them here. And I've seen them online. And there was one that I, uh, if you guys have ever watched Sock, I don't even know how to pronounce it. If it's Sockulum, Sockulum something on YouTube. She's also who I um, saw this lipstick that I'll tell you about in a minute. But um, she had tried Sebastian, um, the shade, the, the shades, <laughs> Sebastian. She had tried um, Sebastian, it's a shade in the OCC Lip Tars. And basically I've been just trying to find like a really good gray lipstick. And the best one I have found so far is by Melt Cosmetics, um, which is by that Lorelei. Lorelei Cakes was her thing on Instagram, but she changed it to her like a real name. She's um, Rihanna's makeup artist, and I don't know why I'm talking about that because I'm not showing it. But that's like the best gray lipstick that I've found. Um, Lime Crime has one, but it's more of like a lilac gray. And Lime or er, um, Melt Cosmetics is. A little more blue base but I feel like it does look more gray but I wanted to try this and I was really disappointed because I thought it was gonna be more pigmented or opaque and I put it on and it's actually really clear and I kind of I would use it to put over a lipstick I put chinchilla on um, which is the gray lipstick by Lime Crime the other day and I put it on top and I just wasn't really impressed. It kind of wiped it off and I like something that's going to stay. And I just got my lip ring back. So I ha need something that's not going to move around a lot because I do not want to look like a gunky makeup, makeup all over my piercings. I don't know. So I was kind of disappointed. I'll probably still use it on top because it'll add shine and everything. But it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. So while I was there, I also had to go to Sigma, which you guys is one of my favorite seriously the top makeup brush place that I've ever bought from. Um, I don't buy from Sephora. I feel like their brushes are super expensive. Um, I couldn't even tell you how much Sigma brushes are. I just know they're way cheaper and seriously every time I go there I just pick them because they're just like the best. And the first time I had bought in there I just got a kit so I don't even know how much individual ones are. I just know they're way cheaper but um while I was there, I just got their two uh, blending eye blending brushes, the E35 and the E25. Um, I had mentioned in my favorites, my yearly favorites, that the, those were my favorite. So I wanted to. I already have two of them. I just wanted to pick up some more because you can never have too many eye blending brushes. Um, while I was there, um, I also was just looking at their eyeshadows, and I really liked this green one here. And it's called Orsay. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to try it. I have, um, I had gotten this eyeshadow palette. Um, it's called the Dare palette. Basically, I had the mini one, and I really like this color Surrender. And so I just got the whole freaking eyeshadow palette. And I really want to try the like these uh, oranges. And she said that those were really um, 
popular colors. So like I said, I like when I get lots, when I can get a bunch in one, one shabam. So um, basically, I had tried their eyeshadows from the little mini palette I had, and I wanted to try more because they, they are so blendable, and like, I'll just like put it on and it takes no effort and it just blends out beautifully. Um, but I went to check out, I spent like over a certain amount of money, so I got to pick out a free eyeshadow, and I was like, hell yeah, I like anything that's freaking free, especially when it's at freaking Sigma. Um, so I ended up getting Fawn eyeshadow. Um, I got that one because I asked her what a popular one was. I hadn't really, I was finger dipping in those too, but um, the one I wanted was more of like a gray taupey color, but it was sold out. So I just picked this one next. Um, also what I got, I didn't get it while I was at Sigma, but I just recently got it and I just wanted to show you guys. It is my, it's my new brush case. I got all my um, Boomy brushes in here, which I'm going to do a review in a little bit for you guys. Um, but it's it's a really big case. I'll actually like set the two next to each other on my vanity and they'll just be my new, they're like my new brush holders. Because... But I think that was like $25 and it's just awesome for traveling or even if I'm going to be doing clients wherever I'm going to just stick my brushes in there. I'll probably get another one because this one's already pretty full with like big brushes and um, I want one maybe for like my all my eyeshadow brushes. So I'll probably get another one of those. But seriously, you guys need to check out Sigma brushes because they are some of my favorites. And so also while I was there, my friend Liz, who is also a Sigma freak, told me I needed to get the cleaning mitt. So I had gotten that while I was there. Um, I had the little like one when I ordered. It was like a sample, but you can't really clean a lot of brushes on a mitt that's like the size of my palm. I don't know. This thing is way bigger. Um, but it has little text different textures on it for different brushes and different purposes um, And she told me I really needed it because it took her I have so many brushes I need to clean and she just told me it like minimizes your time and they had four colors They have black pink purple and aqua, but of course I'm gonna get the freaking black one So I do have to tell you guys about these freaking lipsticks that I've tried the one that's on my lips right now And that I've used in my video. They are so freaking opaque. It's um, it's ridiculous um, I haven't tried lip Lipsticks this opaque since like lime crime, uh, but I had watched um, somebody on YouTube and she tried pretty zombie cosmetics and I got these three colors so I got the purple one here and that one's called three witches and that's what I have on my lips right now um, I wanted a crazy one crazier than purple I wanted to try blue moon so I'll show you a swatch on my hand here in a little bit and then I got black cat which is just a black and I just recently um, put it in my order with lime crime for their new, um, is it called the Clueless? Is it the Clueless ones? I don't know. I know it's like Wicked and Salem and all those colors and they had a black one in there and I just put that order in for all three of them because I love their velveteens. They're like this. They're just super opaque. Um, those I think are a little more expensive. I don't even remember how much they cost. It's really bad. I just wanted them. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. So I ordered all three of those. I don't know um, if you guys can really see this here, but, um, so the top one is the purple, and then there's the blue, and then there's the black. But, um, that's just with one swipe. So I just ordered those three colors. They're I wanted to try them out first before I was going to order any more because they had a new one coming in called Love or something Potion, Potion number 9, which is basically like a light um, lilac color and they're only $11 so I thought I just needed to, I don't want to buy something just for $11 so I added another one which was like some hot pink. They're both Potion something, I don't know. But um, they go on wet and then they dry, they're, so they are wet to dry. So they're basically like Lime Crime. And seriously guys, these are totally freaking worth it. And they have normal colors on there too, but um, I had been looking for this color. So um, I'm going to wait till I get my other two in and I'll probably do, you know, some swatches and I'll just show you guys what what they look like because I don't feel, I don't think they're very well known yet and I feel like they freaking need to be because these are awesome.